For this problem, we want to use transformations and the graph of f of x equals the absolute value of x to graph g of x equals the absolute value of negative x minus 4. g of x is equal to f of negative x minus 4. The negative x means that we will reflect the graph over the y-axis. However, the graph of f of x is identical on both sides of the y-axis, so the graph of f of negative x is not going to change. Subtracting 4 from the function means that we will shift the graph down by 4 units. So our new points are at 1, negative 3 and negative 1, negative 3. Connecting the points, we get the graph of g of x, and this is the final answer.